Sitting in his eighth floor hospital room, 74 year old Jim Lloyd hasn't had family by his side for one of the most difficult times anyone could go through. We're real huggers and um, hadn't been able to do that. But his hospital room has some big windows. Dad, can you see mom's uh, outfit? She looks cute today. <laughs> in the parking lot below Virginia Hospital Center. Can you read her sign? Jim's family gathers with the kind of medicine no doctor could prescribe. Hashtag I love my grandpa. She wanted to Behind her mask, Jim's wife Babetta <laughs> projecting the warmth and strength all of them need right now. This is what keeps me going. <laughs> Jim started feeling sick late last year. He took test after test. In April, doctors called. I need to tell you that he has acute leukemia, and it was just like the bottom fell out. I had no idea what was, you know, I, it was just such a shock. Made worse by visitation restrictions because of COVID-19. She can't be by her husband's bedside. You do get some lonely times, and you, you get those times when you just feel like you're all by yourself. Inside Jim's room, you can see he's hardly by himself, kept company by the nursing staff and more paintings by the grandkids than there is room on the wall. And today, Jim's feeling well enough to leave the room and get a little closer to the crowd below. <laughs> the kind of medicine no doctor can prescribe. Up to the glass, that was, uh, that was practically a miracle. Jim says his blood work is improving. Soon. Soon. Like. <laughs> he expects to head home in a couple of weeks and he can finally hug his family again. Reporting in Arlington County, Drew Wilder, News 4. Wow, what a family he has. You know, it's going to be a few weeks before Jim knows how well the chemotherapy worked. But in many cases, doctors tell us the type of cancer he has is treatable, even curable with chemo.